Are you considering buying a second home up here in Lake Tahoe and you love to boat and love being on the lake? My name is Christy Morrison with Home and Slate Real Estate and today I'm going to take you on the tour of the best boating communities here in Lake Tahoe. We're going to start with various lake fronts so you can see what it's like to live on Lake Tahoe as well as look at the different communities that offer private beaches, piers, and buoys so that even if you don't own a home on Lake Tahoe, you can be close by and experience Lake Tahoe at its finest. So come join me on this tour. Also, down below is an attachment that has the guides and all the details on all the different communities that we're gonna to explore today. So here we are in one of our newer lakefront communities. It's called Old Cedars. And what's great about this community are the homes are newer so you get the mountain modern style. This is a little different than most of our lakefronts here on Lake Tahoe. Most of our lakefronts have more of a cabin feel that we'll see as we go through this video. But at the same time, this is such a gorgeous home. It's three bedrooms, two baths, has uh, on the upstairs, you have your primary bedroom on the main level, which is great for living and ease of living and entertaining. Really nice open uh, feel here, and the kitchen is perfect for entertaining. And you'll notice all the really nice ironwork, the stainless steel and the steel beams that really give it that modern edge. And as you go downstairs, there's a really great uh, separate game room, which is perfect for the kids. Overflow guests too can stay here as well. And really nice mountain modern finishes in all of the bathrooms. Lake Tahoe Park Association one of my favorite private homeowner beach associations. There's over 800 feet of beachfront here. There are places to have picnics, there's volleyball, there's two deep water piers, so it makes it really easy to bring your boat up, get the family in and out of your boat, and take off from here. You're only three miles from Tahoe City, so the location can't be beat. And people are so friendly here in this community. It's a great place to have family reunions, bring the kids down. There's actually a great playground here for the kids. And it's just such a nice place to hang out with your friends. I've come to baby showers here, birthday parties. This place also has 41 buoys that are available. It's actually super affordable. It's one of the best places if you are interested in having a buoy for a week or two, this is a great place for that. Now, the way that this homeowner association works is you need to own a home in a particular neighborhood to get access to the membership here at the Lake Tahoe Park Association. For more information on the details, you can always download our boating guide that's here at the bottom of this page, and it'll tell you the ins and outs of what you need to do to join the membership and what it offers. You could also click on the link below as well and see all of the homes that are for sale that qualify you to join a membership here on this uh, association. So here we are at the Agate Bay Pier. This is a great place, it's a deep water pier. It has a great buoy field, uh, so if you're part of the membership here, you get, you get to utilize the buoys, and then come up to this deep water pier and pick up your family and everything. Uh, access to this pier is private. Uh, you have to purchase a home with the membership included in the lot. Some houses in Agate Bay have this membership, others do not. So when you do buy a property in Agate Bay, you need to be careful, uh, does it have a membership or not? Yeah. 
and this is along the north shore of Lake Tahoe. So from here, you can either access Truckee and Highway 80 through Tahoe City, or you can go over 267, just depending upon the traffic. So it's very conveniently located, absolutely gorgeous, as you can see. Um, this is a great location. It's in between Tahoe City and Kings Beach, very close to the famous restaurant called Garwoods. Um, this is a great spot to go swimming. Um, it's a protective cove here. So even if the wind's blowing really hard, it's really protected right here. There are 20 lakefront homes that technically belong to the Agate Bay area, and then everything else is internally uh, in near, closer to the mountains. So here we are in a beautiful home in Agate Bay. This is brand new, just came on the market, and there's some really cool features about this house. First of all, the primary suite is on the main level, and what a gorgeous master bathroom. Uh, also, on the main level here, you have this really cool outdoor living room area, which has its own uh, cabinetry, and then a great place for the big screen TV. The kitchen is amazing, really set up for entertaining, and what a gorgeous fireplace in the living room. You have a floating staircase that goes upstairs to a massive game room. You could probably fit a pool table in here, perfect for entertaining, as well as two more bedrooms and another ensuite as well. Um, this house has great backyard area, like I said, flat driveway, tons of parking. This is an amazing home here in the Agate Bay area. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out. We'd love to show you this home. So here we are in Tahoe Vista in a gorgeous lakefront property. It literally feels like you're on the lake and this is true lakefront living, it's amazing. Now you'll notice some lakefronts start at about five to six million while others are 20 million. Really what determines pricing on a lakefront is whether it has a buoy and a deep water pier or a shallow pier. So this property here, while it does not have its own pier, it does have two buoys. So that allows you in the summertime to put your boat out on the buoy. You can actually watch it right from your living room, which is so cool. This house has a really good open feel to it. It was newly remodeled, has an open kitchen area, a nice dining room, gorgeous step down living room, plus an extra game room, and then a really beautiful primary suite that has gorgeous views of Lake Tahoe and Mount Talak and some of the surrounding mountains. So here we are at the Dollar Point Private Beach. This place is amazing. Sandy Beach, you can see there's a beautiful area to store your stand-up paddleboard, which is great because like how hard is it to lug it all the way down to the beach back and forth every time? So this is pretty key to being able to enjoy stand-up paddleboarding here on the lake. And also you've got amazing beach chairs, volleyball, super fun. Dollar Point also has a private swimming pool. And this again, like some of the other HOAs that we talked about, you have to own a property here to actually be able to utilize it. So it's private, it's beautiful, it's nice, and, and what a gorgeous day right now. So 
Anyway, if you have any questions about this, I have details, click on the link below and you can find the details on this homeowner association as well as all the active listings here on the market. Isn't this beach amazing? This is a private beach area right here. You also have a private pool, tennis courts, your own shuttle that will pick you up from your house and bring you here and bring the kids here if you don't feel like coming. We have a really nice swimming area as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, click below if you want the details on this beach and the neighborhood. You have to own a property to belong to the Chamberlain's Beach and then right next to the beach here, you have Chambers Landing, which is so much fun. You can have drinks, food. It's more of like a lunchtime, early evening thing to get things started. If you need more information, click below. You can also click below and see all the active listings in the area. And if you have any questions, you think this is the place for you, always feel free to call, text, or email. If you want to learn about more fun stuff on Lake Tahoe, click on the link above and you can meet my friend Alex Blue, who runs a sailing company up here on Lake Tahoe. She teaches people how to sail and be safe so you can enjoy not only Lake Tahoe, but sailing around the world. Right now I'm with Chuck Day. He is one of the premier lakefront listing agents here in the area. And we're gonna to talk to Chuck about one of these amazing lakefront listings that he has right now. So Chuck, tell us about this house. Well, it's, uh, it's very special. Uh, Bellevue is a, is a small street between uh, Idlewild and uh, Fleur de Lac. And there's not too many homes that come on the market. Most of these are what we call generational homes. Mm -hmm. And as a result, uh, they're frequently passed down to other generations. And so uh, we had this home come to market and uh, we feel like with 136 feet on the water, along with having its own pier and uh, being in um, McKinney Bay here, it's um, an extremely special piece of property. Absolutely, it's gorgeous because as you were just talking about, most of our lakefronts here in Tahoe are, are in between either Highway 89 or North Lake Boulevard and the lake. And so you get a lot of highway noise, but this little enclave, you don't have that at all. So if you have dogs, kids, and you want something super private, this is the spot, right? That's right. It, and that, that's a big thing today, but you're right, uh, Chris, there's a lot of properties that don't have the, the privacy either from the highway or, you know, parking is, is another thing. Absolutely. And then the other big advantage of this, unlike a lot of lakefronts, is level. Yes. And the level right. access, you don't have to be a mountain goat to get down to your to the water. To the water and down. the pier. And this one has a gorgeous deep water pier, it does. right? Deep water pier has uh -huh. two buoys. Yeah. Um, and um, we measured the the lake at the end of the pier. Last week it was 132 inches. There's a total of four bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms with about 3,600 square feet, attached two-car garage, and then they have a little apartment above the garage. Uh, fully landscaped, all sprinklered. It's really turnkey. Uh, somebody doesn't have to uh, do much to, to move right in. Yes, you know what's really cool about this property is they kept the blend of the Tahoe mountain feel versus going completely modern with steel and everything like that that you see. They kept the character of Lake Tahoe, but also made it very modern, very comfortable. That's right. Yeah, that was important to them. They wanted to, uh, they had had other properties here over the years and they wanted to make sure it was uh, in keeping with Tahoe versus what's being built today. Absolutely. And so what would you say is the most special part of this property? You know, I would say uh, the, uh, the frontage at 136 feet and being able to look out towards the east shore and um, uh, in the level access um, and then being in this, this is really, the west shore is really the boating part of the lake. Absolutely. And so a lot of people come from uh, other parts of the lake to the west shore because of the smooth water and, uh, and then your access as well is, is pretty important. And what do you think makes living here in Tahoe so unique? 
you know, I would say the all the outdoor activities. Yeah. I mean, and also the changing of the seasons. Mm -hmm. We don't really have a sameness at all. Absolutely. You know, uh, by the time you kind of get tired of summer, you're going into fall, and then you've got winter to look forward to, and yes. spring, and then summer, and so it's a continually changing uh, environment. Absolutely, sure is. And then you never know one winter to the next what you're going to get, no, right? No, no, it's, it's always exciting. <laughs> it is, it is always exciting. And you always, I mean, I just feel like right now we're entering into summer and it's, you know, such a relief, such a, just, you just feel more alive and here we are, right? Everybody's ready for flowers and beach yes. and water and... Uh, <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Well, Chuck, thank you so much sure. for letting us come here to this amazing property. So thanks so much for joining me on the best boating community tour here in Lake Tahoe. We had so much fun making this video and I hope you had fun watching it as well. We love talking about real estate. Always feel free to call, text, or email. We are so passionate about helping our clients find the perfect home up here in the Tahoe area. And always feel free to download the buyer community guides that we have and uh, click on the links to see all the active homes here in the area. And feel free to call, text, or email if you have any questions or you'd like to schedule a tour. And finally, don't forget to subscribe down below because we're doing a lot of cool uh, videos about the great things here in the Lake Tahoe, Truckee area, and we'd love to have you along. Thanks so much and talk to you soon.